Ari, Jordi Prepper here, and welcome again to Wednesday Weekly World News. This was the regular weekly segment that I used to do. I uh, just basically cover a topic or two from a um, news website, and I just want to relate it from a Prepper's perspective. So the first article that we're going to look at is from RT, and it's saying once again that Russia is acquiring more gold. It's filling its vaults with more and more, it seems. And they also mention other countries that are doing this, such as China. And, you know, from a prepper's point of view, and if, you, if, you, if you've looked at other prepper videos and discussions about precious metals and whether to put that in your preps, and I see similar arguments over time, um, but you just got to look at it from this very simple point of view. Precious metals, humans have always found some value in precious metals, whether that's from taking it from the ground raw or, you know, making it into something else, uh, like such as jewellery. Mankind has an affinity with gold and silver, and I really don't see that disappearing anytime soon. Second article that we're looking at is on Al Jazeera, and... I've seen, obviously, in recent weeks, the saying that ISIL has been defeated in Syria. And, you know, I mean, I'm not sure that's the case. They're obviously still getting funding from their masters. And, you know, they're still telling them, you know, cause as much trouble as you can. So I don't think they are completely gone. But there's been this blast in a part of Syria. And it's really just a reminder of how volatile that area is. And you know, the unlawful invasion of this country and the huge loss of life in this air, in the whole area, really. Obviously, again, it's the innocent people, the people that just live there that uh, are suffering. So, again, it, the, you know, this article is really just a reminder that any area, you know, any any country in the world could suffer the fate of Syria. If there's something in there that somebody wants and they have the resources and the people who are willing to do inhumane things to other humans uh, in that for that cause, then it, you know, any country can any country in the world can suffer this fate. As long as the system that we've got and that we're supporting is in place. You know, this stuff is always and will continue to happen.